Hey everybody, my name is Horia Purutsu. I'm a developer advocate at Miro. And today I'm excited to take you through our VIBE code planning template. And the main idea of this template is that it should get all of your teammates aligned and make sure that everyone is together, working together, building the exact product requirement document you want. And then you can pass that to AI and automatically VIBE code and generate that app for you. Let's show you how we recommend you to use this template. So we click on this use template button. We're going to choose this team. Awesome. So now I see that the template has been placed on my team. So let's quickly go through it. So first, we're going to brainstorm our app ideas. So what do we want the app to do? Then we're going to turn that app into a PRD, product requirement document. And then we're going to use AI powered diagramming to visualize that product requirement document into a diagram. And lastly, we're going to export that diagram into an image and paste that into our code editor of choice. I'm going to be using cursor. And you'll see just how well the AI editor is able to follow the PRD and follow the diagram. And you'll see how great those results will be. So let's get into it. First things first, we should brainstorm our app. This is where you want to get everybody on your team involved. Make sure the designer's involved to ensure that the flows and the UX design is on point. Our PMs are involved for the must-have features, you know, uh, engineers for the tech stack, all that stuff. So let's kind of start brainstorming on our app idea now. All right, so now I've finished my brainstorming. The main thing that I want my app to do is that it should uh, basically have object character recognition. So you can upload a receipt and it should automatically be able to parse that receipt. Uh, we want to make sure it's mobile first, easy to use, under 30 seconds to submit an expense, and it should be fun. So it add in some jokes or some humor. And basically it should have two views, um, one tap approved for managers, uh, and then also employees to submit expenses and real-time status tracking and a simple dashboard for managers. So let's now make this into a structured document. So what I can do now is I can basically um, take all of these stickies and now we're going to use Miro AI and then we're going to use document and then custom prompt. And then here's where I'm going to add my prompt. So now you can see that it's generating the PRD based on it. So we can review it. We have our target users, which, you know, we've talked about two views, one for employees, one for managers. We've talked about the key features. So quick expense submission, receipt scanning with OCR. Um, so now we're going to use Miro AI to take in this product requirement document and create a very specific diagram or flow chart based on this PRD. We're going to click on create with AI and then diagram, and then we can do flow chart. And then I'm going to use this prompt that's here. So create a user flow diagram from this PRD showing user discovery. So I basically just wanted to make sure in the prompt that shows steps for expenses, OCR, and dashboard views, because that's exactly what I really care about. I, I think those are the key features for this app. So let's look through our diagram. So you can see we have the login screen, we have account creation form, and then the home dashboard, and then the add expense screen, and then we can have a manual entry, or we can have an OCR scan receipt, you know, take photo, receipt processing, uh, expense dashboards, generate reports, export data, et cetera. So this all looks pretty good from my side. So I think we can go ahead and use this uh, here. So now we can just go ahead and export his image, so now that we've generated our PRD and our diagram, it's time to give that to Cursor and see what it can build. So I'm going to start with the PRD. So I just said build me an app based on this PRD. Make sure to stick exactly to the features listed there and also the diagram as well. I'm going to paste this in and bring in the diagram for my downloads folder. And that's pretty much it. So one thing to note is that the output that you get is really going to be largely determined by what AI model you use. So make sure to test different ones and see which one works well. I found that Claude for Sonnet works pretty well. So let's go ahead and start this.
All right, so let's go ahead and check out the app that Cursor was able to build. Let's go ahead and run through it and demo it as an employee and manager. So let's start as an employee. So as an employee, you can see I have one pending expense and two approved. Uh, so let's go ahead and submit an expense. So here I can take a photo and I can upload an image. Let's go ahead and upload an image. And I have a receipt here. You can see it's for $29.69 from company name. If I open it, you can see the receipt was scanned successfully. And you can see it has got $29.69. And I can just say it's for meals and submit the expense. Nice. So that's great. Uh, so what I can also do is go into dark mode. I can go into analytics. And I can see all my total spending. We can also change the views and download if we want. We can check our profile too, our achievements, uh, to see how many times we've used OCR, how many uh, times we've reimbursed, et cetera. And now we can sign out and then go as the manager. So you can see now that I have uh, a lot of these quick expenses, I can improve it. So, you know, this is how much is still left for pending approvals. And I can reject this and see actually rejected and then what's been approved. So that's pretty much it. I think that the AI did a really good job of actually following this uh, PRD. So you can see it has quick, quick expense submission as one type approval. So it has everything that we've listed here. And I really do envision this becoming the way of the future. So getting everybody uh, within Miro or some place where everybody can align on the spec, on the PRD, the prototypes, and the uh, actual requirements. And then AI can really take the rest and, and implement something really well and shorten that iteration cycle. I hope you found this useful. And please let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next uh, regarding MCP and regarding AI and agent decoding. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.